hello so okay so the plan for this video for this week is to do um, book shopping with me and my cousin we're gonna go to uh, McKay's and Books a Million and Barnes & Noble and grab some Chick-fil-A later um, right now I'm about to go into work I only work till 12 and then we're leaving and I have a hair appointment and then we're going book shopping and I'm prepared to buy a crap load of books because I need a bunch of books um, and then we're gonna go home and the next day we're going to take all the books off my shelf and clean my shelves and uh, reorganize my books so that'll be fun so if you're interested in that then let's just keep watching okay <laughs> Okay, so I just got out of work and I'm going to pick up Hallie now. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so we just got out of McKay's and she didn't get anything, but I got Eclipse because I have it in a paperback and I need it in a hardback and it was only three books. And then I got Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Moss yes. and Empire of Storms by the same author. And I haven't gotten to these books in the series, but I figured they're cheap at McKay's, might as well get them here rather than get them later on Amazon. So. So now we're heading to Books a Million and Okay, so Books a Million was apparently the place to go for both of us. Oh, um, we spent some good money. I got Cursed and it was on the bargain hunt bargain priced uh price and it's because they're having an overstock sale at ours at our location and so they had a bunch of stuff on clearance and everything and then i went ahead and got the last book of this series because it was only six bucks so why not i haven't even read the second book but i've got like the fifth and the last book in the series it's weird um and i got the second book to this i've already read it because i borrowed it from her but I don't have it on my shelf and it's driving me insane. And then I'm not really one for poetry, but when certain people come out with poetry books, you just gotta do it. And Dacre Montgomery came out with one, so I had to get that. Lily Reinhardt came out with one, and I've heard her poetry before, and I actually really like her poetry, so I got that. And then my main girl, Halsey, has come out with a poetry book. And she, in my opinion, is the queen of pop. And the fact that she has a poetry book, which is basically unheard songs, essentially, I had to get it. So that's everything I got. So what did you get, Hallie? Okay, so I got the third book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, Escaping from Houdini. And it was a bargain price book. And it was very, I thought, what a steal. Then I got um, Sorcery of Thorns by... Margaret Rogerson. I can't read. <laughs> and then finally, I got Grave Mercy by Robin Lafaviers. I, I hope that's how you say her name. But yeah. that's all I definitely I got. didn't say the authors of any of these books, but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> but yes, so, so far, a book trip has been a success. We are going to go to Chick fil A, get some food. And then we're going to go to Barnes & Noble, and that'll round us out on our book trip. So, stay tuned. Okay, so we're at Chick-fil-A. I've got my parfait, because tomorrow's Friendsgiving, so your girl has to eat a little light today. And my Jesus chicken So nuggets. I can have some turkey and some dressing and some chicken casserole and whatever desserts they're making. And I got my Jesus chicken nuggets. And this man 
let me tell you, this man came up in the drop there to hand us our food. I guess he was a manager because he was in like the collared uh, shirt, yeah. Game. And he looked at us, handed us our food, and said, I hope you have the best <laughs> night ever. <laughs> Sir, I will have the best <laughs> night ever. Thank you. You have Pardon the best me. night ever. If you're watching this video, I will have the Shout best night you. ever because I'm having Chick fil A and Hallie and I are shopping for books. I can't stop laughing. Like, I have the best night of my life, sir. Thank you. I teared up a little bit. Like, <laughs> I wish we had more of him in the world. Preach. Things with 2020 went and sucked so bad. <laughs> Maybe that's why he at tell us to have the best night ever. He's like, 2020 sucks. Let's just hope these, You've made this year 10 times girls, better. Tell, help these girls have a good night and make up for 2020. <laughs> well, that's like Carly saw that sign that said, um, cookies for sale for Satan, and it was a typo. It meant to say <laughs> Santa, and I was, I told her, that's probably not a typo. That's probably to appease Satan, so he'll stop it with 2020. But anyways, um, Yes, we're about to eat, and then we're going to go to Barnes & Noble and yeah, shop for yeah. some more books because I, in my budget, have 120 bucks left to spend, and I will spend it, and she has 60 and she will spend it as well. <laughs> so, we'll see you there. Barnes and Noble. I thought that was the music. It's definitely a car going by. <laughs> Just got out of Barnes and Noble. I got three books. She got two. So, more books. Um, so, I got Clam Lands, and I cannot wait to read this. If you don't know who this is, watch Outlander. By golly, I'm so excited. And I also got The Rural Diaries by Hilary Burton. Heard this is very good, and I, you know, I'm a One Tree Hill stan, so have to read Peyton Sawyer's new book. And then I got The Lost Book of the White by Cassandra Clare, because I hadn't got it yet. And if you know me, I buy every Cassandra Clare novel there is. I was literally telling her every time I go into the bookstore, I always look at the Cassandra Clare section in hopes of maybe there's a book that's come out that I don't know about, like a, uh, what is it, a spinoff book. Mm -hmm. And it never is because I've got all of them, even the graphic novels. So it's very sad to go in and not find something new, but it's nice to get this. So go ahead. Okay, so I got Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And I also got The Other Side of the Sky by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Yes, we're very excited. So we are heading home now. Um, we're going to go up to her house because I haven't watched last night's episode of Supernatural. And it's the second to last episode. And so I'm going to go to her house and watch that. And then I think watch last night's episode of Grey's Anatomy. It was the season 17 premiere and I haven't seen it either. So then we're going to help her sister decorate her tree. And then I'm going to go home. And then tomorrow morning she's coming down to the house. And we are going to clean off my bookshelves wipe them down and completely reorganize everything. I didn't get the books that I really wanted today. I really wanted to get the Throne of Glass series, the Shadow and Bone series, and the Six of Crows series, but I did not want paperbacks and like not a single store we went to today had them in hardbacks. They had in Barnes & Noble, they had the first one in a hardback, but I've already read the first one, so there's no point in getting the hardback right now, so I'm just gonna wait. Um, so I'm going to get all of those off Amazon eventually, so I think I'll just try to leave a gap at places on my bookshelf of where those books are going to go, because that's quite a big chunk that's going to go into my bookshelves, so we'll just see. Um, so yeah, we're going to go home now and watch some Supernatural, watch Supernatural and cry, because mm -hmm. 
if you watched the third to last episode, oh, sweet Jesus. somebody died. I won't say who. That's not really a spoiler, because if you're a fan of Supernatural, then you know that a million people die every season. <laughs> um, somebody died in last week's episode, and I was an absolute mess. I cried for ten minutes all during their monologue, because I knew it was about to happen then. And then proceeded to FaceTime me and keep on crying. I so. sobbed <laughs> pretty hard. Pretty hard. It was, it was, it was bad. Um, it was not good. It's like, really not good. I, after I got done crying, I was literally like, why did I cry that hard? You would think I lost my, like, grandmother or something. Like, it literally <laughs> hurt my soul. Anyway, we're gonna go home. So, see y'all tomorrow. So, now we are going to take everything off my bookshelves and wipe them all down, clean everything that's on it, because there's stuff on it that definitely has dust collecting on it. <laughs> and then down here is all of the books that I, I don't know if my family needs like cuddles into the shop. <laughs> down here is all the books that I got yesterday and so they need to be organized obviously. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan. So we're gonna start taking stuff off and laying it in the board. for Harry Potter stuff because I have so much Harry Potter stuff. And then I need to make a third shelf for Cassandra Clare novels because they were on two shelves and I'm running out of room and so I'm officially lot. out of room. There's a lot of freaking books. Yeah, because I'm a Cassandra Clare fan so I collect everything she comes out with. So here we are. Um, so I need to do a Harry Potter shelf and a Cassandra Clare shelf. I guess what I'm going to start with. Put those in like the center. Yeah, I always put them in the center because they're my favorites. So they're probably going to go back the same way they were. Everything else is just going to change. So let's do the same player here. And
Okay, so we have all the books up, so now we're going to do decor. Thank you.